Hi Pisces, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for October 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what is to come for you in October and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from your cusp sign, so you may want to check that out. This recording is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Rising, and Pisces Moon. I'm using the Tarot Mucha Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Pisces, now on to your October 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have in this reading today, Pisces, is the Queen of Cups, which very likely could be you because the Queen of Cups is a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. This could be another water sign person in your life as well. It's like you're looking into things, you're reviewing things, you're analyzing things, you're researching things, and heavily you're inspecting things. So if there's anything that you want to sell or buy or anything you've created, you're going to be doing a lot of inspection of it. Uh, this could also be, you know, researching uh, because you're going to put, be putting something out possibly into the public or maybe you're going somewhere and you need to research uh, the place you're going for a trip or to visit or for work and business. You may have an accumulation of things that you need to ship out. These could be returns. This could also be things that you're shipping to friends or family. Or if you sell anything online uh, or do any online auctions, you may have a, you know, a backlog of things that you need to ship out. I feel like some of you Pisces are learning to create something different than what you normally do. So um, let's say you do art. You may be learning a new artistic technique that you never did before. Or in a work or business sense, maybe you never... Uh, you know, like handle certain types of products or certain types of clients or customers uh, or getting into a certain field that you need to learn about it now. I see you dreaming big. I feel like your dreams are very big. And this could be, I take it to mean dreaming big like, goals, wishes, hopes, and dreams. But it could also be dreaming big in a dreaming sense in your sleep. You may be trying to iron out the kinks and bugs and wrinkles and anything that you've been doing or working on. And you may also be going through a period of time in October where you are fixing things that are broken need repair. Love could come to you unexpectedly. Uh, if you're single, you, somebody could pop up now in October. I feel like the time frame for you with that seems the strongest between October and the end of December. This could turn into something serious because I get like worshiping the ground they walk on or they're doing that to you or it's both. So I feel like there's like adoration here. And um, like, again, I, I feel like this feels like a serious relationship. It really has the potential to go that direction. I don't mean that's going to happen instantly, but it does feel kind of 
So the next card you have in your reading, Pisces, is the Hanged Man. And this is being in limbo, not moving forward, not moving backward, being in a state of suspended animation and having to draw from your own psychic ability and intuition at the time the Hanged Man shows up. This could also indicate that you're waiting for something. If you had to fix anything, you may be waiting to hear back. Like maybe you had to take something into repair somewhere or you're having a repair person come to your home and you're waiting to hear back. Like how much is it going to cost or is it, or are they able to fix it? You may also be waiting to hear if you are going to be able to do something. So maybe you have some plan and you need to hear back from your boss. Do they approve this? Are you, is it okay for you to take that time off to go do something? Um, it could be approval from something else. You could be waiting to hear back about approval of some application you've submitted or uh, a request for something, maybe even at your town like requesting permission to do something on your property or uh, sell something or, you know, whatever it could be. I, it feels like waiting for approval and an application to be accepted and approved also comes up here. You may feel like in October, like you're extra busy, like you have too much on your plate. There could be something that you want to fix and you may go outside. I feel like it's something outside in your yard, uh, but it could be, it, you know, I just see symbols, right? So it, it, like what I see is concrete, rubble of concrete or uh, like stone rubble, uh, or it could be like driveway, uh, concrete or blacktop in a driveway. <clears throat> but I get that there's something... Now, that could be a symbol for anything uh, that you are going to try to fix and it isn't going to work out and it's going to fall apart or turn to rubble. So there could be something. Now, it could be even something inside your home. It doesn't have to be, or at work, it doesn't have to be stone, masonry, bricks, concrete. But I do see, like, what I'm looking at looks like crumbled stone or you know concrete that's what it looks like some of you may be talking to um a boss about <clears throat> feeling like you deserve a raise asking for more money asking for a raise comes up here for some of you also some of you may be talking to uh powers that be, I guess it would be local government, for permission to raise something. Could be a tent, an awning, could be raise your home, getting your home raised. If you don't think that happens, you need to come here because it, after Hurricane Sandy, uh, many, 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 many of the homes got raised. So it could be something like that you need to get asking like the local powers that be for permission to raise your home or raise a flag or raise a tent or raise an awning, something. <clears throat> so the next card in your reading Pisces is the two of pentacles, which is weighing your options, having to make a decision or a choice between two things. It could also indicate seeking balance. It could have to do with money. There's emotions tied up here in this decision or choice. Some of you are trying to figure out how much money you want to spend on something. <clears throat> so there could be something you're like, well, that's the price. Do I want to spend that much? Uh, so some of you, it involves spending money on something. <clears throat> could be a cosmetic procedure, could be an item. Maybe you want to buy a new guitar. And there's a choice between two and one is cheaper than the other. And you're like, well, am I going to spend the money on this one that's cheaper or the one that's more expensive? <clears throat> that could also apply to like any cosmetic surgery. Am I going to get this 
surgery or am I going to get this one or combine the two together? <clears throat> but it could be anything like choosing something, but it really does feel like it, it's a lot of it has to do with are you willing to spend the money on it or how much are you willing to spend? If you are pregnant, um, you, there could be something that comes up where like you may have to decide something about your pregnancy. <clears throat> so, I mean, that could be anything. Uh, it could be a variety of things. Is If you having any trouble with it, they may say, well, you could try to deliver at regular birth, natural birth or regular birth, or, you know, maybe you might want to think about getting a C-section. Or maybe you're like, hmm, am I going to do natural childbirth or am I, am I going to get the epidural? Like you could be deciding something here to do with pregnancy. Some of you want to own something uh, and you want to build it up. Like, or you own something and you would build it up. So if you have a business, you could be wanting to build your business up in some way. Like add more products, add more services, advertise more. Um, all of that comes up. But if you have a property that has uh, a good size of land on it, you may be deciding if you want to build a garage or build a shed or build your, maybe build up your house bigger, expand your house. Because I'm getting totally, totally the energy of wanting to build up something bigger. And for some of you, it's a business you own or a sideline business or a hobby you do. And the other Pisces, uh, because, you know, it's not going to apply to all of you what I say in one message. I get wanting to build something up that's structural. So it could be a house, a barn, a shed, raise your home up higher, uh, build a second story. That kind of uh, thing is what's coming up here for you. So now before I go on to cards four and five, I just want to let you know that if you're interested, my um, solar eclipse in Libra, October 2nd, 2024, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle card readings for each sign of the Zodiac are available on Vimeo, and you are being affected by that eclipse. You were probably being affected by it in September, because many times it's a month prior to the eclipse, and the effects can be the strongest the month of the eclipse, and for the first three months that follow, or up to six months, and in some cases, even out as far as a year, depending on the strength of the eclipse. You may also want to get the other video series I did for the eclipse we had last month in September on uh, the 17th, which is the eclipse effects from the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, September 17th, 2024. Also, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. You got a lot of divination tools going on there to get messages for each sign of the zodiac. Those links are down below in the description box in the show more section under this video. And they're also on my website at theluckymermaid.com. On the videos page, the links will be there. I'm slow to get them on sometimes because it takes me a long time and I do a lot of other work besides just recording these videos with doing, you know, private readings, Reiki, and, you know, recording these videos takes a lot of time. So, and I got to take care of my home. So I don't have a lot of time to get them over there as quickly as I would like to. So if you don't see the links over there, on my website. They're definitely down below in the description box. And don't forget the October psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac are available. They are a continuation and an expansion of the psychic tarot readings I'm doing right here on YouTube and Rumble. So if you want to hear what my guides had to say, in addition to what comes up here in the reading, you really may want to really might want to be checking out these crystal readings. So Thank you so much for your purchases. They help this channel keep going and keep it alive so I can keep doing the free readings here on YouTube. 
So <clears throat> the next uh, card you have in your reading is the Four of Pentacles, which is a card that symbolizes the card of the miser or being protective of your finances or things of value. This can also indicate financial success coming to you in the future. You may be very concerned about money and you're looking at your bank account because you want something to show up. And it could be like, you know, something that you're expecting either to get a check in the mail or it may be something that gets directly deposited into your bank account. And you may be really on the lookout for this money to come to you. Uh, so I feel like you're expecting it. I feel like it's owed to you. It could be a payment. Maybe you're selling something and you're waiting for the payment before, you know, the transaction can be completed. You may be also reevaluating things that you have, taking stock of your valuables and maybe even trying to research online and see what these certain items are worth. You may be wanting to get things appraised. This could be antiques of any kind, jewelry, watches, collectibles, maybe your home. You may be wanting to get it appraised because it, like, it may be just because you want to know the going rate or the value of things now, or uh, maybe you want to insure them, or it's because you want to sell them. So, you know, that'll be different for all of you. You could be questioning some kind of transaction, could be tr uh, questioning uh, sales, uh, questioning payment, questioning a transaction. You also may be reassessing, reassessing and reevaluating what's important to you. That has nothing to do with money. You may be reassessing like, is this career that important to me? Uh, maybe you want to change your career or you could be reassessing a relationship like, uh, is this the right partner for me? Or just reassessing and reevaluating your life, like your, your beliefs, your ideas, your ideals. They all have value. And so you could be reassessing those types of value. Because pentacles sometimes can represent other things, um, like even emotions and things like that. So you have to see what you are going to be evaluating and reevaluating in the month of October. You may become a bit of a spend thrift. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, because my guides are also telling me you're going to be, some of you Pisces are going to be saving your money for something that you want to purchase. Uh, so it could be, you know, saving up for anything. Maybe you want to, I, so, I watched this guy on, uh, like on shorts on YouTube and he redoes people's hair and he's in Australia. Um, and he does, a, he does a really good job. Um, I don't always agree with the colors people pick, but he does a really good job. And, um, But I read somewhere, I don't know if it's him, but I think it can cost up to $2,000 for this guy to do your hair. Um, or I don't know if that's the price for him, but somebody in the comments section said that's how much it costs <laughs> to go there. Um, if it's like an all day process, because some of these people, they are getting all day uh, work done on their hair. So it's like 2000 bucks. So maybe you want to go, you know, get your hair done or a makeover or is something that would be very pricey to yourself personally, which could even involve cosmetic surgery or changing your hair or getting a whole new wardrobe because that kind of thing also is being mentioned here. Sorry, I went off about that. It's very fascinating. Some of you are going to know who it is. Um, but uh, they always pull the people's hair up like that and go, let's go. And then you see what he did. It's very fascinating to me. Um, so 
I hope those messages made sense to you with that card. Now on to your last card in the reading, which is the star. And the star is a card that symbolizes, I got to make sure this is the star. No, this isn't the star. This is temperance. Sorry, you have temperance here. So temperance is a card that symbolizes uh, having to have patience, needing patience, uh, being patient. It could also indicate uh, alchemy, like God working through you and what you're doing, thinking, creating, and saying. There, there could be a feeling of you feeling like it's time for you to pull back from something. Maybe it was a club or a group or organization you got involved in. Maybe you've been dating somebody for a while or, you know, uh, it could be some other kind of relationship or some sideline work or something that you do or a craft or a hobby that you may feel like you need to pull back from it in the month of October. That doesn't mean you're going to quit doing it completely. You may take it back up again, whatever this is, but you may feel like you need to take a step back or pull back from something in October. Because I feel that some of you feel some pressure coming down on you from some other area of your life. There's something else in your life that's making you feel like pressure like this is why you have to do this pull back kind of scenario you may also be pulling back from something because there's something that you want to make better so like maybe you had some plan to uh release something to the public a book a piece of art um music a song a channel on a video platform and you may feel like you want to now, you know, make it better, make it perfect. So you could be pulling back from it and like improving it, perfecting it. And then you'll get back to it when you feel like it's up to the standards that you want. You, I feel that some of you Pisces are going to make a new friend from somebody, something you're joining or you're in something and somebody new comes in and joins and then you two become friends. I, I feel like it's more new to you, like you're joining something new and you make a new friend, but for some of you, it could be the other way around, like I said. So somebody could be joining something that you're part of, a club, a group, an organization, a church, um, you know, anything that you do could be a class you take, maybe you take ballet or yoga or, <clears throat> you know, taekwondo or anything like that, martial arts, and you start it and make a new friend or they start it and make a friend with you. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Pisces to work with, use and wear in the month of October 2024, you got Smoky Quartz Pisces, which is a grounding stone. It's a powerful stone. It's a good money stone. It disperses fears and depression. It brings emotional calmness. Smoky Quartz relieves stress and anxiety. It promotes positive thoughts and actions. It also brings psychic and physical protection. And it's also good for abundance, prosperity, and good luck. If you're doing any studying or re-educating yourself or higher learning or any learning, uh, this stone is really going to help you assimilate the knowledge, make it feel like it's got good flow and make the learning experience easier for you. You're also, this stone is going to also make you feel like you have more control over yourself. Like if you're, if you tend to be an emotional Pisces and your emotions get the better of you or get out of hand or your temper or sadness or just emotions in general, whatever they are, this, you wear this stone in the month of October 
it may make you feel like you have more control over your emotional self. It's also going to be a stone that kind of promotes bravery for you. That's going to help you have more courage, more strength, more bravery, and help, help you confront things that you are worried about or are afraid of or are in, uncomfortable about. It's going to give you more strength and courage and bravery in, you know, when you're facing and up against those areas. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it. Share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And hit that notification bell and click all to get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, my most recently recorded video series are always posted down below in the description box in the show more section under the video. And they're also on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. My most recently recorded video series, as I said earlier in the video, in case you missed it, is my solar eclipse in Libra, October 2nd, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. You're being affected by these eclipses we had last month and this month, and they bring new beginnings, change, endings, karma, and blessings. So you really may want to check those out. People feel like they're like private readings to them. And you may also want to get your rising sign and your sun sign in that video series. Also, my eclipse effects from the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, September 17th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings are available on Vimeo as well. These eclipse effects on both of these eclipses last up to six months or even up to a year in some cases, and you're probably getting affected by them one month prior to the eclipses. So you may want to see what's coming up because this world's changing and these eclipses could give you some insight that might be helpful to you. As well as with all these changes, you may want to get my angels, ancestors, and ascended masters psychic oracle card readings for these changing times for each sign of the zodiac. They're kind of different messages. I use four different uh, types of angel and ancestor and oracle cards in the reading for different decks. So you may want to see what I got for you there. The last time I did that video series was 2021. Also, don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of October 2024, where I look into the crystal to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that are a continuation and an expansion of the psychic tarot readings that I do here on YouTube and Rumble. If you haven't checked out my Rumble channel yet, it's called The Lucky Mermaid LLC. Uh, there's many other video series linked down below. Um, I'm not going to get into each one of them there, but I have ones covering love and finance. Uh, you know, so you may want to see what's happening because if you like my videos here on YouTube, you're probably going to like my Vimeo videos. I do the same work with my guides that I do here uh, that I do also over there on Vimeo. So um, if you'd like to also see more predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video format, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram, and at The Lucky Mermaid on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there where I post written predictions, five paragraphs long, and I use oracle cards and tarot cards to get those messages. And maybe the whole reading may resonate with you or only parts of the, those five paragraphs will resonate. 
but you may want to check them out. Lots of people like my written predictions, and you can always go back on my social media pages and read ones from the past, just like the videos. Don't forget, if you purchase videos on Vimeo before, you should go back and watch ones you've purchased in the past because every now and then I have somebody that tells me they watched one from a year ago or two years ago and they say that stuff is happening to them now. Same goes for the YouTube videos. You may, you know, if you're cooking or driving in your car, you may want to go back and listen to a reading from a year ago and see if those messages aren't applying to you now. It does happen quite a bit. So, um, you know, also, if you would like to donate to this channel and help support the work I do here, there is a donation link down below connected to PayPal, and I do greatly appreciate your donations. Some of you don't want to buy the Vimeo videos, you don't want to deal with any of that, but your donations are greatly appreciated because it does help this channel grow and keep it alive and keep going, so it does help me to make these readings possible to keep bringing them to you here on YouTube. Otherwise, I could not do them and just do private readings all the time. And Reiki. I do Reiki. I do private readings. Uh, if you're interested in uh, finding out about how to get on my cancellations list, my, clo my, uh, my um, wait list is closed. I closed it in 2018 and I'm nowhere near through it and my cancellations list, there's over 2,000 people waiting. So you can go and see how to get on that cancellations list, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's a very long wait. I only have a few days each month I can devote to doing private readings. So they, the list moves very slowly. But I hope you have an absolutely outstanding month of October to all the signs of the Zodiac out there. And know that I wish you... Many blessings and peace.